Hello everyone, this is Teacher Noe. In this video lesson, I'll be discussing the third type of chemical reaction, which is the single replacement or single displacement reaction. After this video lesson, you are expected to write and balance chemical equations. The third type of chemical reaction is the single replacement or single displacement reaction. Here, replacement of metals by another metals are possible. For instance, a more active free metal can replace a less active one in a compound. The relative reactivities of several metals are organized in an activity series in such a way that it becomes convenient to determine which between a pair of metals is more active. From this activity series, a free metal can replace the ions of those below it from its compound. For example, calcium can replace iron but not strontium. Replacement of hydrogen in water by a metal is also possible. Notice that H2 is highlighted in the series. This is because it is the only non-metal listed in the series. All metals above H are more active and can therefore replace H in acidic compounds. Those below it cannot replace H in an acidic compounds. A non-metal can also replace another non-metal in a compound like the replacement of halogens by more active halogens. Here, the elements on top of the column will replace the elements below them on the periodic table but not the other way round. Thus, fluorine is the most reactive while iodine is the least reactive. The single replacement reaction has the following general equations. The first equation is A plus BC yields AC plus B or AB plus C yields AC plus B. Let's have some examples. In a reaction of sodium chloride and fluorine, fluorine can replace halogen chlorine forming the products sodium fluoride plus chlorine. We can balance the equation by putting coefficient of 2 before the chemical formula of sodium chloride and coefficient of 2 before the chemical formula of sodium fluoride, giving you 2 atoms sodium, 2 atoms chlorine, and 2 atoms fluorine both in the reactant and product side. In a reaction of aluminum and copper to nitrate, aluminum can replace copper since aluminum is more reactive than copper forming the products aluminum nitrate plus copper. We can balance the equation by putting coefficient of 3 before the chemical formula of copper 2 nitrate and coefficient of 2 before the chemical formula of aluminum nitrate to balance atoms of oxygen with 18 atoms both on the reactant and product side and giving you 6 atoms of nitrogen both on the reactant and product side. Finally, balance number of atoms of aluminum and copper by putting coefficient of 2 before the chemical symbol aluminum and coefficient of 3 before the chemical symbol of copper, giving you 2 atoms of aluminum and 3 atoms of copper both on the reactant and product side. For the reaction of calcium chloride and iodine, iodine cannot replace Chlorine because chlorine is more reactive than iodine. Thus, no reaction will take place. It's time to do your task. Just give the product and balance the equation. Good luck and thank you for reaching this far. Till next time, goodbye everyone!